Hello and welcome to Crazy Danish Hacker. Today we're going to set up a new server and then install the Kraken A51 tables and also Kraken itself. I chose OVH as they were the cheapest provider that I could find, even though it's not exactly free. So you can get a server for one week, which is useful in case you already have the A51 tables. If you don't have the tables, don't bother getting a server for one week because you might as well rent a server for one month because it's going to take four or five days to download the A51 rainbow tables. So instead, I looked at the servers for per month and what we need is we need two times two terabytes because we need almost two terabytes for the files and then we need a separate disk to write the two terabytes too. So we can use, for example, this server is fine. This server looks fine. This server is a bit overkill, but we could use it. This is fine, fine, not good, not enough space, not enough space, it's way too expensive. Uh, good enough, but way more expensive than the others. So the service that I've been testing this on is uh, this one, SP32, and also the EG32 as well. This one, I made a mistake. I could have used, I could have done it with with this one, but I just rented this for a week, which was like forty bucks. Now, the one thing to keep in mind when choosing a hosting provider is not just how much space you got, RAM, CPU. You also need to think about the network. So if you're going to have the server for quite a while and maybe set up more Kraken servers, then you want to have a VRAC. Because if you have a VRAC, then you can transfer files with one gigabit per second instead of 500 megabit per second. So for example, in this case, you could get one of these servers here maybe, or maybe this one. But another thing to note is that you also want a good CPU and you also want RAM. Generally speaking, you only need around 8 to 16 gigabytes of RAM and all of these servers, they have more than enough RAM. What you want to pay attention to is how many cores it has and how many threads, but 4 and 8 should be fine and anything above 2.5 gigahertz should be fine. So in this case, almost all of these servers will be fine. With the rate, that can introduce some issues where, where you might have to turn it off. But generally speaking, it won't be much of an issue, as I have found out during my testing. One thing to notice is how fast it will be ready. For example, if you want to do it soon, like within the same week as I did, then you want to choose one of them that has 120 seconds. Keep in mind, that even though it's just 120 seconds, it will take maybe half an hour before it's ready because they will manually verify your payment. And for example, in this case, I wouldn't choose this one for BHS because it's 10 days. But as you can see, the other locations, they're 120 seconds. You also want to choose a, a location in France, I assume, because that's where most of the seeders are and you want to be as close to the CDS as possible to get the optimal bandwidth when you're downloading the A51 tables. So I have, for example, ordered this one, and we can have a look at how it looks like when you receive the server next. Once they have verified your payment, you'll be able to log into your manager console, and from there you will be able to administrate most of the server. So here you can see the bandwidth. In this case, we have 500 megabits to the internet. And if we're transferring from OVH to OVH, then we have one gigabit per second. But that's only if we're using VREC or virtual RECs. So in this case, you'll want to click the reinstall because by default, there's nothing installed. And then you will click next. And from here, it is a bit more complicated 
because of the rate configuration. It will work with 64-bit Ubuntu server, this version. The other versions, they will set up RAID for you, and then you won't have enough space. So use this version. Or you can use VMware, as I will show you. So you can select VMware ESXi from here. And then you can select Customize Partition Configuration. Click Next. And from here, you want to select only one disk. And then you may want to add a little bit more space, like maybe, so it's five gigabytes, just in case the VMware installation is storing logs locally, then you want to make sure that you don't, you're don't you not running out of log space for VMware. And then you click Next. And as soon as you, let's see, we do that, we get the partition configuration. We get the server name and the operating system right here. And here you will, for example, write maybe Kraken. And then you click Confirm. Now I've already installed VMware on this server. So we'll look at how, how, you, will, how you can set up the virtual machine next.